Yeah, I mean, you know, we have a lot of bodies, guys that have played here before, though, so it's, I think it's nice for the group to uh, to be able to interact with uh, Hinshaw, the Schmaltz, uh, Kiro, guys that have played here the last couple of years, and see their buddies again, and uh, and then practice as well. Um, taking on Cleveland, what are your strategies back to back games? So? Um, I think tomorrow is, you know, it's a 10:30 start, so it's one of those games where. You know, we just want to make sure we're up or awake. Uh, you know, we get a good warm up, get our legs going because you never know, you know, what, how you're going to feel in those 10:30 games. Although we, you know, we do practice at this time, generally all the time. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to three games in four days here. And two, a lot of the line changes, I assume, with these new guys. What are you kind of working with to see, if, I guess, what fits best? Uh, I mean, just, I mean, p lines, power play units. We only had the one practice here today. Um, with the new guys, so uh, but a lot of them have played together before, and they're all smart hockey players, so they should adjust uh, accordingly. So all four guys are going to play tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure on that yet. You know, I mean, uh, got to get some direction from uh, Stan in Chicago, and obviously we have a, a lot of players, a lot of bodies now, so <clears throat> we just have to uh, figure it out here tonight and into before the morning, obviously. Talked a lot of too. He's been a really good playmaker for your offense. Um, how do you count on count on him? You know, if he gets the puck to the right place at the right time, how do you count on him for your offense? Yeah, he's you know he's. I don't think he's a uh, known as a playmaker or what have you, but he, I think he has seven assists in nine games, um, and he's been playing with real nice you know with Mots and uh, McNeils and these guys. Um, he's got some really good skill along the boards. He. He protects the puck well. He's strong on the puck, and, and he's made some really nice passes. So, hopefully, um, you know he can get a goal here soon and get on the board in that area as well. How much is just his attitude uh, to help his team? He, he said he was excited to get here and get more of an opportunity. It sounded like he got out in uh, the Los Angeles area. Well, he he's we played against him for two years when he was in Milwaukee. He's the type of guy you you hate to play against, but you you love to have on your team. And so we've. Uh, we lived through the not having him on our team for two years, and he was very effective against us. And he's scrappy and in your face, and uh, you know he shows up to play. And uh, you know I think all coaches respect that and, and want guys like that on their team. And uh, and like I said, he's got a little skill as well that I, you know some people might not know about. But he's if you give him an opportunity, he's uh, he's definitely showing that he can play with some high end players as well. Obviously, a win is the ultimate goal. But how are you hoping this you know this week of games will help, I guess, just boost momentum for, for the team, regardless of, I guess, the win or loss. Yeah, I think I think uh, last weekend was real big for our group just to get over the hump with overtime and feel good about themselves. I mean, we lost three overtime games in a row and the three on three and, uh, you know, it starts to eat at you a little bit. And, uh, you know, we all got a little discouraged there, but Sammy scoring in Milwaukee on Friday night, you know, put us over the top. and. Uh, I think the guys really felt good about themselves going into Saturday, and then we had another solid game Saturday. And just you know, it snowballs in 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 the in a good way or a bad way sometimes, and hopefully we can continue this uh, momentum that we gained.